Hello guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Let Code. So, in our previous video, we have understand like what is the disadvantage of having static driver. For example, if you go to a driver instance here, we can see like our remote web driver or the web driver, right? both are in static. So, when there is static, it will be really easy to run the test uh, one by one. For example, I can state away go to my uh, page object class and I can say like extend driver. I will get the driver instance and I can do rest of the things, right? But when we try to run the same in parallel, for example, here we have two classes. One is login test runner, one another one is product test runner. So if I go within my um, runner files, you can see like here we have a login dot feature and here we have like add to cart dot feature so already we have discussed about this in our previous video but just to give you a glimpse if i execute this let's see what happens right so basically it will open to browser but there won't be any synchronization so it will run only in one browser and another browser will be ideal so you can see this browser is ideal where the another browser is running so the parallel execution is not really a parallel execution and we'll end up with some exception and even your report won't be sync okay so a lot of disadvantage when running in parallel if your object type is static so we are going to change that with the help of um, a technique called dependency injection uh, we don't have to learn much about the dependency injection there is already a uh, library which is known as pico container in cucumber so we are going to use that that usually uh, use the constructor based dependency injection i will tell you those in detail now okay so here you can see like we have two failures and uh, some execution which is fine because we already know parallel execution is not good when we have static so we are going to solve that okay so before that what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, create one more class this driver instance as of now we are extending to all the classes so we are going to change this okay so i'm going to create a class let's name it like page context and within the page con context what i'm going to ha have is i'm going to have uh, both my drivers i mean the web driver and the web driver wait okay but this is going to be not static non static and also i should not use this driver anywhere so i'm going to make this as private okay and similarly here also i'm going to make it as private okay so that's it we are done with our first step now what we are going to do is we are going to create the getter and setter for this okay what is getter and what is setter very simple as the name suggests getter means we'll get the object whereas setter means we'll set the object okay um so let's right click both on this and you can go to like um source and here we have an option called generate getter and setter i'm going to click on this and i'm going to click both this so within this you can select we have get driver we have set driver similarly we have like get weight set weight okay just a function it is actually if you do not know about getter and setter consider this to be your just a regular function where when i say get driver that means it will return the driver when i say set driver this is basically just going to set the driver okay so like from the function we'll set the value and we'll use another function to get it okay so what is the advantage here our variables are private so that means we cannot access directly so we'll set this we'll set and we'll retrieve i will show you more in detail how to use it okay so this is our page context now what we are going to do is first of all we'll go to all our pages and we are not going to extend the driver instance of course i can modify the driver instance like whatever we have done in the page context i can just give it in the driver instance class itself but like this code will go to my github and people might get confused so i'm just creating a new class that's the only thing okay now let's go to my header page so i have removed the extent and if i go to my home page here also i'm going to remove my extent and here also i'm going to remove my extent now in all the three classes i'm getting error like what is driver 
i don't know like what is driver now okay we'll come back to that so here if i go to my page context here we can see like we have a function called get driver where it's going to return the driver so i can use the driver right but before getting the driver i have to set the driver now where can i set the driver very simple right we already know we are creating our objects within the hooks correct so if i go to my hooks and if i go to my before so here only i am getting this right so driver equal to chrome driver and this driver is also coming from driver instance but we are not going to use the driver instance so let me remove that as well now here also the same problem like i don't know what is driver right we'll come to that in a moment before that i'm just going to comment out all the codes so that you will get a clear idea okay just remove all the uh, unnecessary things so here we have after which is basically used to clear our cut and we have one more before and one more after so this after will run like at the last it will just attach the screenshot and this is our only before method which is responsible to create the object right so here i will say like first of all i will say like remote web driver driver equal to chrome driver okay so that we and here also you can say like uh remote web driver wait i mean remote web uh, remote driver wait what is this uh what was that wait yeah uh, web driver wait right so if i go here and here i can say like web driver wait wait okay uh come on okay uh let's wait okay yeah now let's continue again so let me give you a quick recap so here we have a class called page context where we have like getter and the setter for driver remote web driver or you can also say web driver and also we have like get web driver set web driver uh to getter and setter okay i mean one getter and setter now if i go to all my pages here i don't have any extent so that means like i have to say what is driver now from where i can get the driver in the sense like i can get it from the driver so here i'm using like remote web driver equal to new chrome driver but already we know that we have a getter and setter so let's see how to use it so first of all here i'm going to say like page context that is my class and i'm going to give a name to it like context okay now you already know like we have to create the constructor my hooks so my hooks is what class name so just the typical way of creating con constructor now what i'm going to do is i'm going to receive my page context here okay so page context and the typical way of setting the context right so we when we have a something in the class level so we'll say like uh, this dot context equal to context so whatever the context i'm going to receive i will set that here okay so that's it very simple thing so that means like whenever the hooks class is going to be uh, initialized basically my constructor will run and where whatever the context i'm going to get i will set it to this class level thing okay so this is going to be um, like my uh, private actually so here i can say like private as well okay that will also make sense yeah now we have to set the driver right so here also you can say like we are using the driver but this driver is within the scope of this function that means i cannot use it but what i have to do actually here is so whenever i create an object for the chrome driver or for the web driver wait i have to set it here for example i can use the function like uh, use the variable like context dot here i have a function like set driver right so whatever the driver i have created object i will set that then i can say like context dot set wait and i can pass my wait here okay so that is the only thing we are going to do now what can i do is i can simply say like instead of driver so already we got the driver we got the weight and we have set now once we have set of course i can retrieve with the function of get right so instead of here if i say driver.get that should also work fine but just to give you a context i'm going to say like context dot get driver dot get okay so wherever we have used like driver dot now i have to say like context dot get driver okay so similarly i can say here as well so instead of driver i can say like this and here i can say like this and here i can say like this 
okay similarly if i go to my before here i can select instead of driver i'm going to say like context.get driver okay it might be a little confusing but once i do it completely we'll understand okay so this is what our code for the hook file is going to look like now if i go to my pages so of course here also i need the driver and we know that i should not use the driver instead i should use the context.get driver so how will i get the context in the sense like of course using the with the help of constructor so in the constructor what i'm going to do is i'm going to say like um page context so i will receive the page context and context context is just a uh, variable name okay so nothing much here so here i can again say like page context context and the typical way we do in java so here i have to say like the start context equal to context okay <laughs> now what i have to do instead of driver i have to say like context dot get driver okay that will solve my problem similarly i can go here and i can say here i can go and say and here also i can go and say and here i have used wait so here i will say like context dot get wait that's it pretty much done okay and yeah here also i have to say like context dot get driver and yeah that's it we are not using this anywhere else okay now if i go to my home page so in this class we don't have any of the uh compile time issue okay so i can copy the same and here also i can say the same constructor just we have to change the class name from this to this okay so same, same we have now what we have to do we have to use the same so here i will say like context dot get driver and here i have to say like context dot get weight okay so that's it very simple thing now let's go to the login page so here you can see like we are getting some error why because within the home page what we have within the home page we have the page context basically we have the context which we are receiving as the constructor receiving in the constructor right so here also we are calling the constructor so that means of course i have to pass my context so what we are receiving here is the page context do we have the page context already yeah this is the page context right so i can pass that here so i can say like context that's it so wherever we call the constructor we have to pass the uh, context here right now let's go to the header page so here also it's going to be very same i have to call the constructor and then the typical way so i have to say like page context the context and here i have to say the same so i'm going to say like context it's like this dot context equal to context okay uh now i know you might be super confused why we are using this let me give you an explanation so here i'm going to say like context dot get driver similarly i can give this everywhere so what can i do is i can just replace and here this right so you can control c control f and replace with this it should be like context dot get driver and replace all similarly we can change it for the weight where i can say like context dot get weight replace all that's it right now we have any issue here yeah here we go so we'll just move this one okay so cool we don't have any compile time issue for now okay uh, so let me give you explain ex uh, example why we are doing this one okay before that if i go to my uh this here we have something like this. okay and here also we have compile time issue where we are passing the header page right so what we have to of course we have to set set the context here as well that's it right so pretty cool we are pretty much done with this implementation let me close all the file so 
why we have introduced this page context in the sense like here the problem with the static is basically once we create the object it will be always there right that is what static it doesn't like even though there is another object static values doesn't get changed it will remain the value as it is for n number of constructor right now the problem we have previously is like when we have the static driver or the static web driver wait uh, basically it's try to use the same object but object is already uh, there and it's not destroying properly not creating again properly so how to solve it is very simple we have created something like page context class where we have the setter and the getter what is get driver get driver means it will get the object whatever we have so here we are just returning the driver and we have this setter if you watch carefully here we are using the get driver always in all the code but where we are using the set driver in the sense like only only in one place that is here right and so for the web driver it out the driver we are using the set only once and we are using the get in multiple times so whenever this hooks works it's basically creates a new object so we are solving the static problem with this help so whenever there is a object new object basically it will try to set and we'll use the same object across all the classes now okay now why we have constructor in all the classes so basically we are setting the driver and we have to use the same driver so how we get that of course with the help of constructor right so whenever there is a constructor uh, whenever we create the object the first thing it loads is the constructor so whatever the value we have set we have to receive it so that's why we are using the constructor of course there is multiple way we can use the um, setter method as well we can use the method and we can call the method but why we have used this particular technique like the constructor is very simple let me give you an example so we have fixed all our compile time issue we know we have set the driver we have used the uh, like get driver context dot get driver and i hope you are able to understand the concept now if i go to my test ng xml so here you can see like we have parallel execution if i execute this this is not going to work actually but it is going to throw us an error okay so here you can see five run five failure and cucumber says that my hooks doesn't have empty constructor okay it says like we do not have empty constructor in my hoof class so so far whatever we have done we do not have like this we do not have constructor in our hooks selenium doesn't like the constructor but if i go and see if you need di di is nothing but dependency injection put pico container on the class but so it says like you have to use the cucumber pico container okay so cucumber pico container is basically an uh, basically a dependency injection technique in java okay so and it works based on the constructor that is why we have like lots of constructor i mean only one constructor but in all the classes okay so here we are not doing any extent if i go to my page also here also we are not doing any kind of extent it's basically dependency injection purely with the help of constructor okay so how to achieve that is very simple we have a pico container dependency i'm going to copy that i'm going to uh, go to my pom.xml and i'm going to paste save so it will download all the dependencies so here you can see like it's basically building the path the dependencies once that is done now let's save all our files let's go to our xml so now let's go and run this now let's see the magic same code we haven't changed anything at all after the dependency added you can see uh sorry uh, you can see like both are running simultaneously we'll get up we will get one failure i guess because uh, okay let me rerun this from the first so let me go to my feature file i will tell you what is the issue with this so okay i believe there is no issue so password and password is also correct yeah 
Now let's go to the XML file and let me rerun this one more time. So here you can select we got two browser and both the browsers running simultaneously. Okay. So that is how the dependency injection works. The Cucumber Pico container works. In our previous case, when we have the driver as static, you know that one browser is running, another browser is not running, right? So now we can say like both the browsers are running simultaneously. Okay. So that is how the Cucumber Pico container or the dependency injection helps us. And of course, like this will generate the report in uh, appropriate one okay so for example if i go to my um reporter folder which is in test output and if i open this index dot html uh not this one uh, it should be within the spark folder and index dot html Okay, so here you can select user authentication test where we have like the all these steps and there is no failure so we didn't get any of the uh, screenshot but just to show you I'm going to uh, attach this screenshot for every pass scenario so if I go to my hooks file just a simple thing so here we are checking if it's fail so we can just negotiate this so if there is any pass it will generate the report so I'm going to run this one more time in parallel. So here we can see like we have both the test running simultaneously. Okay, that is the beauty of dependency injection. It's very simple. These neighbors are really irritating. Just making a lot of noise and I'm not able to record the videos properly. I have planned a lot of videos for this Diwali holiday, but unfortunately, I forget that there will be a lot of crackers sound noise. So I couldn't do it anything and today I have holiday. So I thought of liking making a couple of videos. Let's see how it goes okay so execution is completed let's go to our um, reporter once again so in system explorer test output uh, spark and index.html so if i go to the user authentication test here you can see like we got this attorney and here we have logged in with attorney casey so uh, yeah, this negative scenario, we're just checking like it should not be logging. So that is expected. If I go to my product test, it didn't load up. You go and refresh the page one more time and you can see. I think this is a, just a bug in extent report, I believe. So if you go to your add to cart here, you can see like we have uh, Ottoni clear cart. I think all the, yeah, this one is Ottoni KC with clear cart. So we can make sure like we have the perfect screenshots one more test is also there you can see that as well also with Tony Casey okay anyways so you are able to understand how to generate the report for parallel execution for reporting we don't have to change anything because already we have changed all those within the hooks file so what we have to do is we have to introduce the constructor within the hooks where we'll just simply say like page context context and this context equal to context this is like just getting one value and setting to another value okay so um a best example will be like when we run in the rally uh, the athletic rally so there will be some stick right so one will pass to another guy and that guy has to pass to another guy right so that is what this dependency injection or the constructor way of working actually okay let me give you a quick recap so first of all we have to modify the hook class where we have to set the page context uh, the constructor and make sure here we have the actual object creation of the chrome driver and once the driver is created the object is created you have to set it here you have to set it for the driver as well as for the web drive weight. and once that is set always use the context so whenever you want to use the driver you have to say like context.getDriver and within your login page, header page, whatever the 
pages you have you must have the constructor and with the help of this object here we have to retrieve this okay so that's it very simple thing you have to do it similarly for other things okay and this is how we have to run in sequential as well as in parallel okay so that's it for this video if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comments tada bye bye take care